Look at that fault gouge running right in there. You see that? That's referred to as fault gouge where it's all broken up. We're on a shear zone right here. And that stuff is soft. You can see the first quartz vein that they found right here. See that? Running right along through here. So what they did is they followed it. And they tunneled all the way back in there. See all this red hematite? And you got this, this black that you see? That's silver. This gobs and gobs of sulfides. <laughs> it's all sulfide locked up in there. When it's altered like this, it becomes extremely brittle. See that? The minerals they predominantly mined here were lead, zinc, and silver. All replacement deposits in this nasty limestone. No, all you gotta have is enough hydrothermal fluids coming through this brecciated rock. Once it reaches near surface, it'll change either pH balance or a drop in temperature and pressure. And then uh, it'll start to crystallize just like that. And if there's any mineral assemblages that happen to be riding along with it, they'll precipitate as well. This is slick inside and the stuff that's in between can be fault gouged if it's ground up enough. If there's enough movement between these two, you can create a whole bunch of fault gouge from that. And this whole area would be considered a shear zone. And sometimes that can precipitate out mineral assemblages. So a lot of times the miners would follow these things. That's why you'd have a foot wall and a hanging wall. This would be the foot wall. This is what I call a replacement deposit. You see that? Mm -hmm. See that little tiny fissure right there? Mm -hmm. And all the mineral rich fluids, hydrothermal fluids come through and they literally start to replace the limestone. This is all limestone. And you can see a better example of it right there. See that? And then that's where all your mineral assemblages start to precipitate out and it'll actually replace the existing wall rock with new minerals. That's why they call it a replacement deposit. We're in quartzite here. Uh, you have alteration of quartzite. You can see you've had a lot of seepage in this section right here where it's actually started to break down the quartzite and alter it. This is a good example of hydrothermal alteration. You're gonna see a lot of that in here. And whenever we get to areas where I think that there's gold deposition, I'm gonna show you that and any other mineral similar I can find while we're down here. Remember I told you about the shear zones, micro shears. There's many faults running through this entire mountain and usually you'll have what's called fault gouge right up against it. And these are called slick inside. You can see the striations in it. And sometimes there are mineral assemblages that are precipitated out in this fault gouge. You're gonna hear that a lot in your USGS reports. Nice cut. See this? We're still going through quartzite. I know it looks vertical, but because it's got a slight angle to it, this would be considered a foot wall. Here you can see where the quartzite has been fractured because there's a fault that's running right through here. So it's what it's done is it's, it's crushed the rock. And now if hydrothermal fluids were to come up and fill in these gaps and voids, it would be cemented breccia. A lot of times you can find mineralization in the fine ground mass that cements these fractured rocks together. This is a perfect place for hydrothermal fluids to, to be traveling up through. This is a good conduit, so to speak, for them to travel through. And that's why you have a lot of your, your gold deposits in brecciated zone. One of the dangers of exploring abandoned mines is rock fall or slabbing as the old timers used to call it. You really, really need to be on your P's and Q's when you're exploring these old mines. Now, right now, the only thing holding this giant rock up is a small two by six, a real two by six right there. See that? In the first hundred feet of a lot of these adits, you're gonna find bats. And I don't wanna wake them up because if you disturb them, it destroys their sleep cycle. They wake up, they become agitated, they can't go back to sleep and they can die. I don't wanna wake him up. So we're gonna go through quiet. Okay. Ooh, look at that timber, Max. Yeah. Push on it. Uh, oh, look at this one. I think they said don't push on these in um, in videos. It could uh, collapse, but yeah, there's a lot of pressure going on in here. It looks like the mountain wants to come down. Let's go take a look. Yeah. Wow, see how they got these to hold this back? Because it's all squeezing in. Oh, there's a burlap sack. Gobbing. Huh? Gobbing that's coming out of here. Wow. Look at that, Max. Did you see that? Uh, try not to look at it. But... Look at that one. Wow. It's as big as your body. And it broke. And it so broke? What's that tell you? Uh, I don't know what you... It just keeps going. Wow. And it follows. I, I don't know. I think it collapsed. It, the, and someone kind of just... You can see where people have been squeezing in there. But we're gonna have to be on our bellies to get on in there. Turns into a mouse hole.
Oh yeah, look at that. Where's it going, Mr. Max? It goes up. Ooh. Pretty nasty. Look at all that weight. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, look at that. That's cool, Max. It is pretty impressive. Oh, look at the writing over there. What's over there? I said it's a raise, goes up. Let me see. But it don't. Oh, there's a ladder. That ladder goes about six feet in the ends. Hold on, let's stick it in there. Oh yeah, it does go up. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Look at the size of these timbers. And look at this. Wow. Crunchola. Oh God. That means there's a lot of weight. Look back in there. You want to go back in there, Max? Sure. The back looks good. And I got a shoot. Well, I used to have a shoot. See that? Oh, yeah. Because this guy was dropping. And if he drops completely, these are going to fall through. A lot of pressure. And so there's a lot of pressure on that nail and that nail. That's pretty much it. Levels of the early years and the lower levels of the later years, so they use carbide on the bottom. Oh, that's kind of tight. Oh, yeah, that's real tight. A little tight, a little tight. Walls are coming in. A little tight. That's tight. That's tight. That's a, that's a little tight for you, isn't it? Yeah. Truck drivers don't... don't. Huh? Sit on the ground very good. Oh, it's tight. <laughs> it's tight in here. Yeah, I had to go sideways. <sighs> yeah. But some of them are missing. Oh, yeah, some of the rungs are missing. Thank you for letting me know. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, you're doing great. Look at you. Yeah, that's what I was doing too is I put my right hand on the timbers and I let the rope kind of go through my fingers as I go down. Look at that. There's the old ladder right there. There's the old ladder. Bunch of twine down on the bottom. Huge, massive chamber, huh, Matt? Yeah, make sure. I know, it's kind of hard to hold a ladder and your rope at the same time. Yes. No way. Okay. Step down with the other foot. Okay, you're on the bottom. Oh my god. How do you, you guys, feel? Crazy? Isn't that cool? <laughs> we, we yeah, look at the square set behind you, sweetie. Oh. Make sure you're not sitting on dynamite. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's not joking. Good job. <laughs> Good job. Yeah. Oh my god. See the crib? Yeah. 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 Massive platform of cribbing. Isn't that cool? And all this timber is old growth. You can't get this anymore. Mm. This is old growth timber too. You can't find this anymore. Look at that. This is absolutely amazing. Look at all these timbers. And they got words written on them and letters so that they can cut them. There's an A over there and a C and a Y. So they cut the timbers outside, then they bring them in, they know how to assemble them. That makes perfect sense. Wow. And then on this side, they have numbers. Wow. That is amazing. See how these timbers are cut? These have short notches in them and these have long notches in them. There's a reason for this cut, all right? So most of your force is coming in from the walls. So you put your timbers in this configuration. And if there's not a lot of force coming in from the sides, then you have the smaller notches. See how that works? That way, these are literally touching each other. And then the top timber can sit right inside of this hole. This notch here, here, can sit right inside of here. Oh, look at the letters. See yeah, the D's? I want you buy. This is at the bottom of the square set. Look at the size of those timbers. Oh my goodness, huge. Oh, that's come down. It's kind of tight down there. Oh no, it opens up. We gotta like monkey on over. Monkey time. Oh, good job, Sweetie. Have you seen how they've done this? This, this is, is amazing. Brilliant. See this, look. 
Yeah. They've cut the rail. Oh yeah. So they could get up through here. Because they had rail going across. They've actually timbered this so they could keep this passage open. I love this. Look at all the work. Wow. Yeah, they've widened it out and they've put in stalls everywhere. So, six to yours. Oh, 1961. Wow. So 60 years ago. So we have maybe 20 or 30 feet of collapsible. Oh yeah. Now that is cool. And you can see the track down below. See that? Tony's repairing the, sh putting the uh, the miner's wedge. He's what he's doing is he's reinforcing weak spots to make sure this stays intact. And he does that a lot. He'll repair mines, repair ladders, square sets, everything. I, I can't help it. He does a good job. You could thank him for some of these mines still being in place and intact. Here we are at a junction at the main haulage shaft. This one goes down for another 400 feet. And you can see the, uh, the loading chute right here for the skip car. A man would sit down there and wheel that open and feed the skip car. Uh, then the skip car would go up these tracks all the way up to the top where you saw us at, dump into that huge ore bin. We need to fix this ladder. <sighs> look at this thing. <sighs> and look at that. Oh, there's my radio. Did you find your radio? Yeah. What the heck are you throwing down now? I don't know. I got so much stuff on my backpack. Yeah, that, that looked like maybe a battery pack. I don't know. Yeah. Oh. I've never seen the shaft from this angle. You could just, we could just go up right here. Yeah. I guess they got crazy when they were blasting me. Oops. Sorry. We blasted into the, yeah. into the haulage shaft. Hi. Mind if I join the party? Mm -hmm. Oh my god. How pretty. Can you imagine the scaffolding? Wow, there's our other two explorers way up there. Hey Holy cow. <laughs> Look at the size of this. It's a glory hole. There's millions of dollars in that hole. <laughs> Look at the size of this thing. Wow. Oh my gosh. It's a giant ballroom. You can see all the all the chutes down there. You see that? There's one there, one there, one there. They all go into those ore chutes that we just saw. And they feed into it. Oh, Look at it. It goes all the way up. That is beautiful. Oh, you know you can't go up that ladder. It only stops right there. Uh, where's he going? The rest of it transparent. It's fine. Woo! Hello! Hello! Hey, my baby. Hi, sweetie. Just give you a sense of scale. Look at that. Oh, this stuff looks real fractured. Look at this. It almost looks like it's ready to go. See that? Oh, yeah. Oh, there's the bridge. Ah, way up there. Do you see it? Yep, there's that bridge. And you don't really, you don't want to fall down that side. And you really don't want to fall down that side. Oh I don't God. think this is very sturdy. What do you think? Mm. Beware of big hole. Okay. okay. Isn't that the prettiest thing you ever saw? Yeah. There you go. What? How cool is that? You want to hop in? I'll give you a ride. <laughs> chain on it too. I've never seen that. Get all that rock up in there. That's a cool design. Look at that. Just a little oil and this thing would be good to go. Look at that walker, huh? Now we're going up. So you're going up with me. Woo. Why would they put a stall here? Have you seen what it's holding up? Yes. And a stall on that big old chunk of Rock up. Why would they do that? Just blast it out of the way. That's cool. See that? Double shoot. One's for ore, and one is for waste rock. 
That's pretty cool. Here is one of the uh, open stopes, uh, huge, huge chambers where they blast it up into one of the drifts. Can you imagine walking along a drift and fall into that? So you got to be careful when you're in these old abandoned mines. Here we're coming up into the ballroom again. There's the zigzag ladder that we got to go back up to get out of this massive chamber. Here Max is trying to <laughs> finagle his way up onto it. As you can see, there's like a three and a half foot step. It's kind of hard to get your foot up onto that first rung. And uh, for short people like myself and my wife, it's really hard to get up there because you're standing on a platform and the ladder moves around. And if you can get your first step up, then the rest of it's really easy. And of course, with ropes holding you in place, you're not going to fall. But it's just wonky to have to climb up a ladder that goes to the side and, and that's slightly inverted. All right, sweetie. So the idea is to get one of your feet up there, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my knee here for a step. Are you sure, sweetie? Yeah. And you're just going to step up on my knee. Right foot here, left foot there. Exactly. Yeah, yes, let me put my... You're on. Okay. It's all yours now, sweetie. All right. Arm around it. Perfect. Yeah, just climb up. I'm going to keep some tension on your rope so you don't bind up, okay? Okay. Yeah, you can go up anytime you want. Thank you. Just climb the ladder. The first part's a little spooky because it's sideways. <laughs> <laughs> and you're doing it exactly like I do it. I, I hug that ladder. Yep. And then one step at a time. You're doing great, sweetie. Just one step at a time. Keep going. All right. The rope's got you. So no, nothing's going to happen to you no matter what. All right. Now, wait. Try to get the rope in, in up over that nail on your right hand. Right hand. See that where the rope is up by the nail? Yeah. Get that off of that. Okay. There you go. Just You're gonna... It's going to straighten out here in a second and yeah. feel much better. All right. So right now, because the rope's trying to go to the right. You see that? Let's see. There you go. Beautiful, sweetie. And now that the ladder's straightening out, it feels a little bit more natural, <sighs> a little bit more comfortable. Just focus on going up. There you go. Yeah. <sighs> All right, take your right hand. And if we get that rope into the middle, if you can, of the ladder, see with the rope? Yeah, get that into the middle. There. Beautiful. Yeah, you're all, all there, pretty. All right. You're doing wonderful. <clears throat> you're almost there. Hey, who's that? Phew. How you doing, sweetie? Doing good. Yeah, look at my little baby climb. <laughs> I believe I can fly. <laughs> Zigzag ladder. Yeah, look at this ladder and this huge foot. Wow, look at the size of that cake. Oh. Oh. Hey, Leela, when you're ready, uh -huh. just pull the rope over from the side of the ladder. Yep. So it's in front of you. There you go. Try to lasso it over that. Yeah, you might have to whip it over. Yeah, whip it good. 